Okay, so in this next uh, step, I want to actually clean up our Hello World program a little bit. Um, in fact, I want to, you know, just sort of understand what's going on um, with this program and just sort of look at how we can make, you know, bigger assembly programs. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is go over a detail that was uh, glossed over a little bit, and that's, you know, how exactly did we do that right call? Okay, so I'm going to bring up um, what's sort of a bunch of system calls. Um, and these are sort of our ways to interact with uh, built-in functionality with the kernel to you know, do things. When we use the C library and other languages, they're basically built on top of these system calls. Uh, the one that we were using was the write system call. Um, so you can sort of see it's this syswrite. Um, and based on the what we've populated with the registers, so for example, rex, that has the system call. So if we put 1 in there, uh, and I'm looking here at rex and 1, that's sort of preparing us for the write system call. Okay, so then the next step is to look at uh, rdi, what needs to go in there. This is for a file descriptor, that's what fd is. Um, so if you do a search for file descriptors, you'll find that 1 is for standard out. Um, that's what this terminal output is, we're writing to you know the standard out or the standard display. Uh, zero is for reading in, uh, so when you're trying to get input, you would put uh, zero here if you're using the read system call, uh, and two is for error, which is another special kind of output. Okay, then for RSI, this is our actual sort of uh, buffer of characters. So again, if we're looking at uh, our system call table here, this says, you know, what are we trying to write out here? Well, our buffer in this case is an ASCII string, okay? That is, you know, the numeric uh, number representation of each of these characters, okay? Uh, and that goes into RSI. Uh, and when we're doing this load effective address, uh, LEAQ uh, command, that's essentially saying, hey, we have this label here, uh, hello.stir, and that has some address, uh, and we can put it into RSI. Okay, so that's what's being loaded in here. And what's stored at this address is, you know, this string here. Okay, and then uh, the final thing for RDX is to, uh, if I scroll over here, or rather zoom out, is it's the size, or how many characters do we have here. So here we moved in nine, so I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine characters. Okay, the backslash n is just one character. Uh, and then we make our syscall, and then the program runs. Okay, so for exit, um, let's go ahead and take a peek at that. If we scroll all the way down to 60, I'll find the exit. And it has just one register where we put the error code. Okay, and in this case, it's zero. Okay, so often in our C programs, we saw this return zero uh, command and um, that's what we do here. Okay, so I'm gonna end this video here and then we'll clean this program up a little bit more.